Either one of you talk about just starting that second half shooting wise and how you were able to turn that around after what, 0 for 11 or something like that. Yeah, we just um, went in uh, halftime with the focus, just trying to get the ball in the hoop and not. If like we weren't hitting from the three point line, we tried to go inside. We posted up some more guards at times, and that helped a lot. Yeah, the second half was, was always difficult for us because it's half time and you have to come out as the score is 0 0. And I think we handled pretty well this, this time, this game. RG, um, you waited until way late in the first half to score your first points, but they were in a really clutch time and they led your team onto a run that gave you the first lead of the game for your team. What, what was going through your mind when you started making those shots and, and going through the lane and, and hitting those layups? Honestly, nothing. It was just, I, I just wanted to calm down. I just got into the flow of the game and, and I, was, I was lucky I, I was making shots. Yeah. But honestly, I don't remember what happened. I just looked up the score, we were up by few, and I was like, okay, we have to pick up the lead. Uh, <sighs> Talk about that timeout you called about five minutes into the second half when you guys were in Oval 11. What did you say to them? Because whatever seemed to work. You know, we just talked about um, how much I believe in them. That the effort is there. They're working their tails off. Uh, we're playing hard. We're getting good shots. How they believe in themselves. They have confidence in themselves. They have confidence in each other. But we got to make plays. And we can't depend on anybody else to do it. We have to do it ourselves. Um, and, you know, we just want, once we finally came out of time and we were able to get a score, we were able to get into our press and we were able to disrupt. I thought we did a lot of good things um, in the 2-2-1, two -two um, in the half court in the zone, just trying to make them take time off, disrupt their offense. Um, I thought our players did a very good job of communicating tonight and our rotations in the defense and we made plays. You know, we stopped selling for jump shots. We attacked, going to the basket. Um, when you look at the stat sheet, and Wumi goes one for nine, and Alex goes five and 19, our two leading scorers. But we got the, when we got to the free throw line. So we found a way to score, and we found a way to put points on the board, um, something we've been struggling to do. We were able to put 68 points on the board tonight, and a lot of it was creating off of our defense. So very proud of the effort by our players and how they continue to believe in their defense, and we didn't give up. And, um, straight from the game plan very much. Adjusted to playing without the last game? Uh, we seemed it in the last 15 minutes of the game. I thought, you know, in, I thought in spurts, um, you know, it's taking people out of their positions. You know, Jocelyn now is off the, off the wing where she's not getting on the offensive glass and, um, you know, not looking to penetrate as much. I think she's trying to get us organized. We look at that then as a backup, we moved Alex over. Um, I think Reagan Moore will give us some minutes um, I think she's still getting back stronger and um, having good practices and hopefully we can work her, her into the rotation as well um, so that we can go deeper into our bench. Um, but this was, uh, it was a team effort. I mean, through and through. I mean, we just defensively got the done. You haven't gone 0-2 in the A-10 since your first year here. Um, can you talk about how important it was to stop this losing streak of two games and get a win? Build some confidence. I did not know that. I think I didn't know that coming in. No. Um, you know, it, every game is so critical in the Atlanta 10. Uh, and, you know, we just have to come ready to play. It's not about being 0 and 2 or 1 and 1 or 2 and 0. I mean, it's this is a grind. And on any given night, anything can happen. And so, you know, obviously we don't want to lose at home. We talk, always talk about, you know, winning the games at home and you know, stealing the ones on the road. But uh, this was just a hard-fought game against a team that had a lot of talent. It's still, I mean, she, she ended up having surgery on the knee. Mm -hmm. um, so she's still, it, for two weeks, we won't know anything. Um, for two more weeks, she's an immobilizer for two weeks, um, another probably 10 days. 
since the surgery, and then uh, she'll be evaluated after that and start rehab from there.